Now at 5.30, friends and neighbors share their memories of a Warrensville Heights business owner. It's empty right now. Lost for words. The victim's fiance in police custody tonight. This case comes as Ohio's Domestic Violence Network releases troubling new findings. We are continuing to find disturbing trends in the cases we review. Tonight, the missed signs of trouble that led to dozens of lives being lost. And that is where we begin here at 530 with the death of a woman in Warrensville Heights. She was a business owner and a prominent member of her community, Amanda Williams. She was murdered on Monday. And tonight, as the community grieves that deep loss, detectives say they have a suspect in custody. News 5's Remy Murray spent today talking and learning about the victim and the investigation into her death. She's going to be missed. She's definitely going to be missed. I truly love Amanda. A single bouquet of flowers. It's empty right now. Lost for words. Outside a la mode style salon in University Heights. I hate to hear it. Oh. Feels an empty spot as the community mourns the loss of Amanda Williams. That's Amanda right there. <laughs> I've been knowing Amanda for at least 30 years, and we've been friends, buddies for from the day I met her. Williams not only builds a popular salon, but also a family like network among neighboring businesses. Just the little things that I'm gonna miss. So much love. That's, that's, Thank you. It's gonna be hard. It's definitely gonna be hard. Rachel Owens says she feels an emptiness in her heart too. It's definitely gonna be hard. Thank you, Rachel. She runs a business upstairs from Williams Salon and says she will miss coming down to chat with her friend. Knowing that we was a family and a team. No matter what, we was always a family. Sadly, that tight unit has been torn apart after Warrensville Heights police responded to a domestic disturbance on Monday, just before midnight. When officers arrived, they found Williams with several gunshot wounds, where she later died at the hospital. Pastor R.A. Vernon of the Word Church says her death has left a big hole in many people's hearts. There's some people, and I've been doing this a long time, that when they walk in the room, they light up the room. That was her and uh, she'll be sorely missed, and we're grieving the needless death because of domestic violence. You know, she's such a positive person, such a caring person. You can't say enough about how special she was to the community, to her friends, to her sorority sisters, to, to me. As this investigation continues, Warrensville Heights Police confirmed they have Terrell Edwards in custody at their jail, whose sources tell News 5 is William's fiance. In Warrensville Heights, Remy Murray, News 5. The National Coalition on Domestic Violence says 10 million American adults experience domestic violence each year. When it comes to deadly domestic violence, the coalition says one in two female murder victims are killed by intimate partners. 65% of all murder suicides are perpetrated by intimate partners, and 96% of those victims are female.